Hello everyone, in this video we will take a look at how you can use FFUF more effectively when you perform fuzzing and brute forcing attacks, assuming you perform bug bounty hunting and pen testing, helping the red team maximize the experience and save a lot of time in our methodology. FFUF known as Fuzz Fuster UFO is one of the fastest web fuzzers written in Go that allows typical directory discovery, virtual host discovery without DNS records and get and post parameter fuzzing. So let us look at five different techniques that will help you get the most out of using FFUF. So make sure to install FFUF from the latest GitHub and we're going to show you how to constantly update the word list such as sec lists and the tool continuously. So there's a lot of new word lists that get updated and removed, appended whenever you use sec lists. So make sure to git pull using this command in order to constantly update it. As you can see from here, there's a lot of updates. And the same thing you gotta do when you use FFUF. So if you use Kali Linux, FFUF updates whenever you update Kali Linux. And if you have the same repo from GitHub, make sure to always use git pull in order to update it. And now we're going to show you how to perform fuzzing in recursive techniques and mode. So recursive is whenever you want to perform a fuzzing, not just on the directory, whenever it finds something or the file, but whenever it does, it's actually going to continue performing fuzzing within the directory so it can find more as it goes. So the usage is very simple. As you can see, you provide the minus U to provide the URL, followed by minus W in order to provide the word list. We're using the specific example, which is reft, small directories, followed by the dash recursion. So as soon as you choose this option, you're going to notice that whenever it finds something, as you can see, it's not going to stop, but it's actually going to continue fuzzing for every directory that it finds so that it can get you more information. Now, since you're going to be using fuzzing and this is going to take a lot of hours, this is a great way to use recursive mode so that you can end up finding more files. Since you're already going to be spending hours performing the fuzzing, make sure to use strong machines like VPS. Set the tweaks as well because FFUF is really, really fast and is going to be sending over 20,000 in this specific example using this word list. Post or get requests in order to gather the files for you. So now we're going to show you how to fuzz at the same time in two different locations. As you can see, we're going to start using it normally with minus U. So we added W2 because we want FFUF to fuzz at that point, followed by W1 towards the end, as you can see from here. And now we have to specify two word lists depending on what you're doing. So for example, in the first word list, we're going to be looking for directories. This is where you specify the W1 at the end. Then you add another minus W in order to specify the second word list. This way you will be performing fuzzing in two different places at the same time so that you can find two different things. You can see it has loaded W1, W2 and it's performing in two different places at the same time using two different dictionaries to get you the results. So sometimes you want to look for subdomains and the directories as well and this really is very powerful because you're going to be performing two different attacks in two different places using the same speed at the same time. So this is when you work smart and instead of using each one waiting hours then run the second one, you can just perform this and fuzz in two places simultaneously using two different word lists. And now we're going to show you something really advanced. So we're going to be using FFUF in replay proxy and receive callbacks via reverse SSH tunnel using Burp Suite Pro. So as you can see, we're using SSH. However, we are specifying with minus capital R a relay proxy. So we're specifying the port and the IP address where to actually relay the whole attack. And we're logging in to the SSH machine that will be running FFUF from this machine, then getting all of the requests on the local machine so that they can relay inside Burp Suite, maximizing the quality of what you're doing. And this means that you're gonna be performing fuzzing using FFUF as you can see from here. So to do this first, you have to give the minus U as you can see. However, at the end, we gave a replay proxy and we specified the same port that we're running burp. It started and now that you're using burp suite, you can see from here, everything is being logged, making this really powerful 
And now you can actually use Burp Suite in order to send requests and perform vulnerability assessments, trying to find exploits and other things as well, saving this session. So this means you're using an external tool, FFUF, in order to perform really fast fuzzing. Then you're using Burp in order to find vulnerabilities. And now finally, we're going to show you how to use the interactive mode and calibration filtering to eliminate false positives. This is another really powerful way to use FFUF. Sometimes as you perform regular fuzzing, you want to just interact with it in order to change certain values. You can do this by just pressing enter as soon as the FFUF starts working. And when you do so, you will be able to tweak and calibrate various filtering so it can resume since this task is going to be taking hours. So you can see normally we're just running FFUF. We added some MC codes to filter 200 and 301s. And as you can see, it has started. So now in order to enter interactive mode, all we did is press enter, then you type help, you can see all of the available commands. So you can append to status code or to line codes as we did here. And this allows you to tweak certain filtering, reconfigure the word count filter in order to resume. So you can see from here we issued the AFL 300 and this will be resuming based on the calibration that we've done using the interactive mode. So it's very important as well to understand how you can interact with this tool by pressing enter as it works and then modifying certain parameters in order to resume rather than cancel, especially when you're already fuzzing for hours. So hopefully these techniques will help you perform better fuzzing. Thank you for watching and as always, until next time. So also we want to give a big thank you to all our patrons on this channel on Patreon. So Patreon is a different and separate platform from YouTube where you can find exclusive content that you cannot find anywhere else. You can ask us anything in our Q&A sessions, be the first to vote on our next episodes, throw out our polls, and get exclusive hacking videos twice a month. Check the link in the description for more info.